Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Submarines are the unique operational command centers on the planet. It was during the decade of World War I when submarines were recognized as a mainstay in the world's most powerful navies. They were then used for various purposes, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance by the middle of the 20th century. Composed of guided missiles, ballistic missiles, and fast attack subs, it's no wonder why nearly 55% of the Navy's nuclear war weaponry counts on them. Life within a submarine is critical, exact, and covert for the U.S. Navy submariners. Essential to the defense of the nation, brave sailors dive deep undersea for months at a time, coming up for air only to grab more gear. Thanks to top-notch technology, though, submarines accommodate hundreds of submariners simultaneously. With little communication with the outside, submariners develop a special kind of bond beneath the sea. Depending on each other to survive, sub-sailors have each other's backs no matter what, including life without any sun, phones, or windows. But life down under still has its little luxuries. Home to one of the highest rated restaurants in the world, diners at the pre-commissioning unit, or PCU, in South Dakota are not to be missed. Rivaling any land-based restaurant, this multi-billion dollar sub's culinary cooks have their work cut out for them. When the crew members aren't occupied with their day-to-day -day operations, they spend their spare time eating and relaxing. Serving more than 130 submariners daily, seven chefs make three square meals a day, every day. Starting four hours before each meal, everything aboard the Virginia-class sub is handmade. From cookie dessert bars and bread pudding to omelets and pizza, this deep-sea crew has everything they need to stay fueled. During Santa Fe Virtual Navy Week, submariners on USS New Mexico hosted a remote tour of their submarine. One of the most critical parts of the USS New Mexico is the submarine's topside. This includes its VLS defense system, where submariners fire tomahawks from when needed. Located in the lookout trunk is an emergency escape where sailors can also conduct deep diving missions underwater. USS New Mexico is composed of three levels, lower, middle, and upper. This includes emergency air breathers. Fire control, sub control, and even a torpedo room. Used to defend the crew at all costs, the torpedo tube is where torpedoes underwater launched missiles are fired from. But the crew's mess, berthing, and chief's quarters are its heart. Naturally, the captain stays in his stateroom, the most oversized room on this multi-billion dollar fast attack sub. Submariners at PCU Indiana spend their free time as any young person would. Watching TV with crewmates, playing board games like chess, and blasting away with handheld video games. A faint heart, a faint heart, never. That was the motto. Reading books aloud is also a great way to pass the time among submariners, 
with sailors snickering at the story's punchlines. During a stop near the North Pole, soldiers from USS Seawolf let off steam on a snowy bank with a friendly football game. As they passed the ball around, the Sea Wolf crew enjoyed fresh air for the first time in what seemed like months under the ocean. In 2014, USS Columbia returned to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickman after six months in the Pacific Southwest. As the fast attack vessel approached the shore, music accompanied the sailors as they docked. Navy families and friends anxiously awaited their submariners' return as they relaxed to local music. Filled with bittersweet greetings, this submarine's docking was successful, but not all vessels make it home from sea. As submarines sail silently under sea, work beneath the sea takes up much of its sailors' time. On USS Pennsylvania, an Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, submariners spend up to 10 hours daily on their feet. During one of its missions in the Pacific Ocean, this Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, sailors rarely come up for air. Spotted off the coast of Hawaii, USS Pennsylvania can reach maximum deep-sea depths of over 800 feet. Submarine diving can be lethal, so it's crucial that Navy divers practice routine drills on the regular for their protection. In fact, onboard USS Texas, a Virginia-class sub, its submariners' safety takes top priority. With a depth limit of up to 240 meters, or more than 800 feet, most sailors on this nuclear sub know that practicing diving makes perfect. While traveling to a torpedo room to throw a nuclear weapon might sound strange, it's just another day for Navy submariners. Ready for anything, days are spent running drills constantly. As a result, fire drills and safety inside the submarine are of the utmost importance. Some of the drills found on board USS Texas also include a man overboard exercise in the event of an emergency. Rig for fire and general emergency. Sailors are well rehearsed in case a fire breaks out on their vessels, too, equipped with escape hatches for the following predicament. In the Navy's eyes, training its team against the worst threats is its number one concern. Historically, fire drills have had the most devastating effect on these nuclear submarines. Respectively, these exercises are commonly practiced to protect against casualties. Specialized submariners run reactor and flooding drills as well. Even the most seasoned sailors even practice their safety drills while stationed in port. Using the wet trainer and firefighting trainer as their guides, the Navy makes sure every submariner knows what to do, no matter what. Of course, observing U.S. Navy submarine safety means stellar maintenance practices.
Back on USS Texas, sailors performed daily exercises and maintenance routines while coasting the Pacific. Submariners checked their heat exchange, filter, cooler, and catalyst switches for optimal safety. Taking notes constantly, it seems these daily routines are almost never-ending. Entering vital data into advanced tools as they go, sailors perform these critical performance checks with ease. Wearing headsets in USS Texas' tiny cabins, technicians tighten and twist knobs to avoid any accidents. Some even grab hold of a submarine-sized steering wheel to ensure things are on course. Using top military technology, submariners utilize touchscreens to track the submarine's progress. From oil and heat to battery life sensors, everything has to be monitored to a T for excellent results under sea. That means fluid and filter changes are customary safety habits too. Ultimately, team safety is critical to deep sea submarine operations. Speaking of fuel, submarine replenishment is also conducted on a regular basis. Off the California coast, Marines from Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 161 resupplied a U.S. submarine in 2022. This critical mission by U.S. Marine Corps MV-22B not only improves lethality and range, but vessel survivability too. As Marines strap packages together and ship them off their helicopter, Tethered supplies are delivered to the sub below. Connected to a military quality rope, the package safely makes it to the temporarily surfaced submarine. Simply put, the restocking of this U.S. submarine demonstrates the American ability to operate at all costs. If you thought your neck of the woods was ice cold, try navigating an underwater submarine mission in the Arctic Sea. Aboard USS New Mexico, sailing through sheets of ice is just another part of their routine. Thankfully, this nuclear sub has more than enough horsepower to get through the most challenging terrain. U.S. Navy often performs exercises in icy and isolated areas to highlight its maritime abilities in the Arctic. In 2014, Ice Exercise, or ISEX, was conducted by USS New Mexico to display just that. Because of its ice training drills and routines, most subs sailing in the Arctic Sea are seasoned and experiencing rough terrain. However, that doesn't mean the US Navy wants them to steer into the unknown without taking proper precautions. In 2020, USS Chicago escaped Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickman as Hurricane Douglas hit Hawaiian shores. Known as a sortie, submariners dispatched the sub to safer waters to avoid high seas and winds. One of many close calls, this Los Angeles-class nuclear sub was lucky. When it's all said and done, the fast-attack submarine survived to see another day. No matter if they're lounging at exotic undersea eateries or running to the sub's torpedo room, submariners are always at risk of attack. That's why every sub's captain, chief, and crew 
are dedicated to the U.S. Navy's ultimate mission. Faith, courage, service true, with honor, over honor, over all. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.